People come from far and wide to experience the art here in Saxony. From the traditional, historic art styles, to the world-renowned museums, to the more cutting-edge contemporary. This is Living Local, Traveling Global with Kelly Farrow, featuring United States Tour Operators Association member Avanti Destinations in Saxony, Germany. If you had to pick just one thing that defines Saxony, it has to be its world-renowned art culture. Saxony has a long history of championing the arts, which might explain why every building here is simply breathtaking. The architecture here is really phenomenal. There's so much, it's so ornate, very Baroque. I want to take a picture of everything. <laughs> and believe me, I think I did. Dresden in particular has some of the most awe-inspiring architecture. August the Strong and his successors filled this city with world-class buildings, giving it a breathtaking skyline. So clearly, our custom tour with USTOA member of Bonte Destinations made sure that we had time to discover all the sites of this important city. Dubbed Saxony's white gold, Meissen has made internationally famous porcelain for the past 300 years. We stopped at the Meissen headquarters to meet the people responsible for the brand's legendary craftsmanship. So that right there, that's where it happens? Yes, this Can you show us? And I was able to witness the process from start to finish. It's still soft. It is still soft. <laughs> cool. Each porcelain form is made entirely by hand, and the highly specialized artisans contribute to a stage. She puts every form the thrower makes yes. um, into one figurine because the former just prepares all the, all the pieces, right? And she's the one who's putting that together oh, to, wow. one, to one big figurine. I observed as it started with the clay all the way through to the finishing touches. Our special tour even let me try my hand at the final painting over the glaze. Each brush stroke had to be perfect. How can they do that? So much pressure. I think I have a new job. But they indeed were perfect. And this lovely figurine is the largest porcelain figure in the world. And what's incredible is this Saxonia's dress. There's 8,000 handmade flower petals, each applied by hand. And now we go to Leipzig, a city famous for another type of art. As you can see, we're in the Gewandhaus zu Leipzig, which is where the world-famous Gewandhaus Orchestra plays. I play the viola. And it's always been a really interesting orchestra in terms of musical history, because things from Mozart or Schubert or Shostakovich or Strauss or Beethoven were all premiered here. Berlin has slowly become so commercialized and mainstreamed. Leipzig is really benefiting from the overflow of artists and DJs and actors and musicians, all different kinds of people that really want to do something and make their mark. Anybody that has a dream can do whatever they want. Definitely one of the most forward-thinking and interesting art initiatives, the Spinnerei in Leipzig is breaking new ground in today's art scene in Germany. It was once the biggest cotton spinning mill in continental Europe. Now it's a gallery center, it's an art center, so we have more than 100 uh, artist studios here and 11 commercial galleries. Given that this was once the largest mill in continental Europe, there's so many spaces to explore, and each is filled with all different types of art. I particularly liked that we had the chance to talk with the artists, some right in their studios where they work, sleep, and live. You come here, you have this huge studio to yourself to do whatever you want with, and then you have certain weekends that you know you're going to be exhibiting, so you're like building towards that. If I could tell you what, I'm, what a painting would look like in the end, I, there would be no reason for me to start painting, you know, because um, there's always this process which is intriguing and which interests me the most. It, it, it's really cool to be here and be a part of a city that's still got some kind of, like, underground realness to it that's happening. It's, it's really great. It's super accepting. Saxony's fine craftsmanship also translates to some very well-made cars. Porsche has a factory, track, and visitor center in Leipzig. And clearly, Avanti Destinations made sure that we had a look. You can book different events here, like guided driving on the racetrack, or you can get on the hot seat. Bye-bye. My favorite part is um, doing hot laps on our racetrack scaring people. I'm a little scared. 
Well, Bjorn got his wish. I was shrieking as we flew around those turns, my heart racing many, many miles per hour. But what a rush. Well, that is the thrill of a lifetime. I can't even tell you how the G's feel going against going around all those curves. You gotta just do this yourself. It is so much fun. Still shaking up a little bit. <laughs> Afterwards, we admired some historic Porsches. Pretty Porsches, I like these. These machines are sexy works of art, and I think I fell in love with the German Porsche that day. And did you know that Saxony is the birthplace of the Nutcracker? These wooden toys were first manufactured in the town of Siphon, and now they've become a Christmas fixture in many households all around the world.